First of the attacks on goal will be taken by New Zealand. Kiko Cortez readies himself for the charge of Hugo Ingalls. Eight seconds to try and find the goal. Angles for New Zealand, lots of trickery, and eventually got there. Had to work so hard to get around Kiko Cortez. Cortez staying balanced, staying mobile, side to side. Great quad strength, great quad strength, denying everything there. The last minute, there was all of about half a second left. Samson moves the goalkeeper. Oh, and off the post. Nicely pivots nicely away from the goalkeeper so there's no infringement of obstruction and then bang through the goalkeeper's legs. Quite hard for a goalkeeper there, she's moving from the right to left hand side so naturally her legs are going to open at some stage. So captain against keeper, Santi oh, takes it very well. A quick move to his right, found the gap and found the backboard. One wow, pace. Class, serious really good experience. Ding, ding, bang, bang. Takes it around the feet. Goalkeeper unable to get hands down to cover left foot. Feet. Spotlight on Sophie Bray of East Grinstead and England. Goes round the keeper and scores with a plum. Well, now College Edchik with a vital moment for her country. She's already scored twice in regulation. Kelsey Kolodzegczyk for the USA, Lynch, oh again, but this time, and a score for Kolodzegczyk on the reverse sweeping shots. Yeah, Lynch just got a stick to it again, but Kolodzegczyk, unfortunately for her, the ball fell nicely and she was able to finish it with a backhand shot. Here we see a move in the goalkeeper, but Lynch does extremely well again. You just isn't able to clear it on the second time, and Kolodzejcek gets to finish the ball off into the goal for USA. Can Hinch do it again? Hogue, oh, very experienced, very calm, moving the keeper around, and she scores, and on we go.